Hi there. It's been a little bit since you've seen me uh, come on and talk since I said I was going to take on this project. Uh, a little bit you need to know is I'm, I work here at home in my two-car garage, so I don't have a lot of room. I just got and I just got a lot of crap. You know, a frame jig, I got a lathe, I got a mill, a welder, tubing vendor, a couple toolboxes, uh, all the necessary tooling to go with it, grinders, uh, disc sanders, etc. You know, everything that you need to be able to have to build a motorcycle, I've been able to, uh, to put together and put in my garage. In my two-car garage, but you got to remember, it's 30% of it's taken up with the laundry room. Uh, so a little bit about the motorcycle is a ZX-14. Uh, based, I'm using the 1445 motor. It's uh, called the, the Gen 2, you know, which a lot of people talk about. You have a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. Well, this is going to be a Gen 2. It'll be a turbo alcohol. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with uh, uh, mechanical injection, electronic injection. The electronic injection, there's a lot of uh, really neat features that we can have. You know, then there's the mechanical injection, which I know I like the back of my hand. Clutches, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to end up making my own clutch. Uh, ignition. I'm going to go with going to go with a uh, with an MSD power grid system. Uh, transmission. I'm going to have uh, Chris Weisman build me a uh, gearbox. Most likely, it's going to be four speed. If you haven't ever looked at a transmission inside of one of these bikes, they are gnarly. You know, they're like this wide, and this big around. Uh, they're huge. Uh, so there's a lot of room for big shafts and big gears. Lots of strength. Uh, we're going to do our best to make everything as one piece as possible. And that's where we're at, and I'm in the, I think, what we ought to do is uh, build a motorcycle. Oops. This is where we are with the bike so far. We've got the, we've got it sitting in the frame jig. If you looked at the video that I did of the drawing, you notice that we had it at 55 inches from crankshaft to axle. The bottom part of the frame has already been has been welded up because it's going to be easy to get to. You're going to notice that I really like to have triangles and X's. That's where you're going to get your maximum amount of strength. You'll also notice that when I do these, one thing I do try to do is bring my my X's and braces to where a, a joining part is. You're not going to see where it's going to be up here in the middle of the frame. Okay, so what I'm, next, what I'm going to do next is we are going to put a piece of tube in here. So part of doing this is getting everything fit. As you can see right here, you know, there's a lot of a lot of daylight that is going on right there. So what I'm going to have to do is make it fit.
Southern California kills me. We're dying in here, I'll tell you what. If you look here on the chassis, what I've got, I've got a piece of blue tape. And what the blue tape symbolizes, as far as, you know, what we're doing, is that symbolizes the uh, chain line. I've got a setup right now for a 16 tooth on the back, on the front. And on the back, I've, I've opted to go for the worst case scenario of a 50 tooth rear sprocket. So we need to have as much room as possible. The transmission doesn't split at the cases anymore. What it does is the input shaft is here. It's down in the case, and then the output shaft splits at the case. So it's actually staggered. So the input shaft is, is lower, and the output shaft is higher. <clears throat> in a nutshell, what that's bringing us is we're having to make, make changes, or we have to take into account for the fact that the counter shaft sprocket is up a little bit higher than what we might see on a KZ or a Suzuki. Yeah, you know, it's no big deal because we're able to keep the seat height down, you know, below 20 inches. And as you can see, we're going to have plenty of room for a big sprocket. What I'm doing now is I'm thinking. If you couldn't tell, this is thinking face. I'm contemplating my next step. I've been putting tubes in, and now I need to be able to determine, you know, what's going to be the best route to go on the next one. But what I'm up against is, you know, what should I do next? Is it going to be how I how I put it together? You have to look at uh, tube fitment, how everything actually starts starts pulling when you put it together because there is going to be warpage. There's nothing you can do about that when you start melting steel together. As the well cools, everything everything contracts. And so if you have a piece of tube that's sitting perfectly straight, you weld on one side of it on the side that you pull on, it's going to pull it over like this simply because of the weld. Uh, you know, the contraction of the materials. So that's especially especially an issue when we start talking up here when we're going to have a piece of material that goes that goes from here to here you know what's going to happen back here by the wheelie bar mount so the direction that it's going to pull uh, you know so that really is something that you know i'm a little bit concerned about and i have to take that into consideration plus when you put it together you have your extra pieces and you get those tacked in place and you want to put another piece in and you can't get it in because the other stuff's in the way so anyway, that's, that's why I've got my thinking face on and things slow down. You know, the majority of this project, more than anything, has been thinking and planning and trying to get it figured out what I want to do next. I'm going to go ahead and stop for right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load this up on, uh, on YouTube so everybody can see it. And you couldn't tell, this is really... So... Be sure and uh, subscribe to subscribe to the channel and the project. Uh, like it, uh, share it with all your friends. Let everybody know how how silly this is. Uh, that would be great. And I look forward to uh, coming out and doing another one here after I get going. Say hi, Willie. Say bye, Willie. Bye.